Welcome to the Season 2 recap of, Outer Banks. The Pogues mourn John B. and Sarah. The community mourns Peterkin. The cargo ship's captain, Terence, tries to turn Sarah and John B. in. They escape and alert the Pogues that they survived. John B. tries and fails to get the gold from Ward's Bahamian house. Sarah goes after him but Terence kidnaps her and sends a crew member, Cleo, for John B. A security alert on Ward's phone results in the Bahamian police showing up at his house and apprehending John B. The last scene shows John B. waiting for the cops to show his face to Ward as Sarah watches in horror. Sarah distracts the cops. She and John B. escape. The Pogues see Ward killing Gavin after they argue over the money. Rafe's gun falls in the sewer. Ward and Rafe dispose of Gavin's body and Rafe goes after the gun. Ward and Rafe leave for the Bahamas. Ward buys Rafe's loyalty by showing him the gold. Sarah, John B., Terence and Cleo separate Ward and Rafe from their security and ambush them in some cane fields. Sarah and John B. take the gold, flee Ward's security and get stuck in the fields. Sarah finds out she has a bullet wound. Sarah and John B. go to the doctor. Terence and Cleo leave with the gold. After the bullet extraction, Sarah flatlines but her pulse eventually returns. Cleo reveals that the cops took the gold and possibly killed Terence and his henchman Stubbs. Pope's dad's car breaks down on the way to Limbries. Cleo distracts the cops so John B. and Sarah can escape on Ward's boat. John B. and Sarah get fake married on the boat. The two groups of pogues converge on Charleston. Carla Limbry's slave-owning ancestors refused to let Denmark Tanny buy his wife and daughter's freedom. Denmark died trying to get his wife Cecilia's remains from the Limbry house after the Limbry set the hounds on her for trying to escape. Denmark's baby daughter survived. The cops, sent by Ward, capture John B. and an officer brutally beats him, for Peterkin. Ward bribes Deputy Plum to have John B. killed by another prisoner. Kiera's mom kicks her out. When Pope asks, his dad says his grandmother used to have the key Limbry wants. Choup finds John B., who reiterates his innocence and tells him about the attempted murder. Shoop's SBI colleague reveals that the gun Rafe used to kill Peterkin is enough to arrest Rafe. The SBI surround Tannehill. John B. is freed, but finds that Sarah is missing. Sarah returns with Topper, and she and John B. have an argument. Topper's grandfather, Judge Holden, signs the warrant for Ward's arrest. The cops corner Ward on his boat and the Pogues join them. Ward blows up the boat, seemingly committing suicide. Topper shows up and holds Sarah as she cries, while John B. stands on the dock looking conflicted. In a recorded confession, Ward admits to killing Big John and Gavin. Sarah ends her fake marriage to John B. conflicted, she goes to stay with Topper. He invites her to the annual bonfire. When Sarah comes by later, the island room has been ransacked and everyone, including Wheezy, is missing. Pope and J.J. deduce from Denmark's diary and his last words that the treasure is buried near a tree named Angel Oak, near the Freedmen's Church Denmark built for the slaves he freed. He uses a crowbar to reveal the cross under two hollow beams. Rafe and Renfield have followed the Pogues there. Wasp starts stinging Pope and he falls on the cushions the Pogues have stacked under him. The cross falls too. The Pogues leave to get help for Pope's allergic reaction. An epinephrine dose causes Pope to total their vehicle. At the church, they find that Renfield and Rafe took the cross. Pope fights him to a stalemate, calls Kiera and takes JJ's gun. JJ and John B. see the Camerons board a boat named the Coastal Venture with the gold and the cross, and Sarah as a hostage. Ward is revealed to be alive. John B. tells the Pogues that Ward is alive. Pope takes down Captain Eberhemi. The crew members help Rafe recover the cross by shooting at Pope, who jumps overboard with Cleo. They get on the lifeboat, followed by Kai and JJ, who recovers consciousness. The Pogues leave, landing on a deserted island which they call, Poglandia. The sheriff's department investigates their disappearance. Limbry meets Big John. He's alive and agrees to help her if she helps John B.
Thank you for watching the recap. If you liked it, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get our recaps easily.